Hello, welcome to episode 322. Today we are again in version 1.20.6. We're going to be looking at some predicates, is sneaking, and some other flags. You don't need a data pack for this. That's why I wanted to show you, really. Hassan Topcha told me about these predicates that we can just write straight into a command block. So cool. So I thought I would show you. Um, I was going to do something for a 1.19 again, but I, it's already it's already 20 to 11 at night. And I thought, I've already got this prepared, so this is the one we're going to do. Right, I don't need um, any setup or anything like that. So we're going to keep them simple, because predicates can get you know, pretty complicated. There's a lot of stuff looking at the wiki. All I'm going to do is I'm going to check a few flags on the player. That's all I'm going to check. And we'll, we'll come back and visit predicates again, because there's so much you can do. And um, they're much better than uh, checking player NBT, although a predicate can check player's NBT, in which case there's no difference. As far as I'm aware, checking NBT uh, means you have to go uh, open the file, serialize it, and then check the data, whereas I think the predicate just gets it straight from memory much quicker. Anyway, however it works, it is a lot quicker. So if you're 1.20.6, even if you're not using a data pack, you want to get on with some of these predicates. Now, the good thing is the predicate I'm going to write can actually just be put into a predicate file in a data pack and still work from what I can tell. It's laid out in exactly the same way. I have been waffling on for far too long. Let's just show you. Um, let's just do an it's sneaking predicate. So I think probably best let's get this so it's always running. And this one will be in is sneaking. We want to check if the player is sneaking. Okay, so I'm going to execute as all players at that player. Um, for this predicate, actually, I might not even need at s. We'll, we, can, we can do some uh, playing around and take things out later. And we're going to say if predicate and my pre <laughs> my predicate's going to go in there. Run say I am sneaking. Okay, so let's write a predicate. A predicate has a condition. Um, so let's do dump dump. It's a typical sort of layout we're used to. Speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks. And this is going to be the condition. And the condition I'm going to check, I am going to check entity properties. So I'm checking the properties of an entity. Minecraft entity properties. Okay, and the entity I'm going to check, speech marks, speech marks, model, speech marks, speech marks. The entity I'm going to check, entity, I will say, this so it's the entity we're running the command as and now we'll need a predicate and i'll go there and open and close this is laid out similar to a sort of click event in the fact we've got predicate here and then we open some curly brackets to write some stuff inside so i only can, i'm only going to check flags there's so many things you can check i'm just checking flags Okay, so let's write here. I am checking flags. And what flag do I want to check? I want to check if is sneaking. Now, that's an underline. Is sneaking is true. Okay. Done with no scoreboard, no weirdness. Just check if is sneaking is true. Turn that on. Let's press sneak. And there it is. So much better. This is very cool. Now in 1.20.6, even without a data pack, although I do suggest you use data packs, you can have predicates. Now, let's check if the player is not sneaking. I think you can probably guess what we're going to change. We're just going to change that true to false. It's that simple. And we'll put, I am not sneaking. Oh, there we go, right. So I am sneaking. And as soon as I stop, boom, the message spams up there. Cool. Right. What do we have available to us? Let me just pop down a little wall. We have 
So we've done the is sneaking. So you can check is sneaking. You could also check is baby. Obviously, that's not for a player. But this is, remember, this is entity properties. So you might be running it on a zombie. Uh, we can have is on fire. Let me let me spell them right. I'll put them all in the description as well, actually. That'll make it easier for you. Is on fire, is sneaking, is is sprinting. Uh, we also have is swimming. Now, all of these ones will work in 1.20.6. And upcoming in 1.21, they're also going to add is on ground. I bet people are going to find that useful. And also is flying. So all you'd have to do is get one of these things here. Let, well, let's do a test. Let's let's is sprinting. Okay. And all we have to do is plug it in. So let's take out is sneaking. Let's put it is sprinting. Let's check if it's true. Um, oh, we don't care about changing the message. Turn it on. Okay, I'm not sprinting. Now I am. And the message comes up. These things are so cool. Cool. Now you can check multiple flags at the same time. That's no problem. So let's check. Let's go back to sneaking. And I think probably, obviously, two, some of them are going to be pretty hard to check at the same time. For instance, is, is sneaking and is sprinting? I don't think that's ever going to work. Is sprinting, is swimming? Nah. But probably is on fire. We could check that one. Is on fire, is sneaking. Yeah, we could check that. So we'll go inside here where we've got our flags and just after is sneaking true, we'll literally just add another one. We'll just put is on fire. Uh, we don't care about changing the message. Done. Um, let's get a way to catch fire. I don't think standing on a campfire will do it, but standing on a lit piece of netherrack, that should set me on fire, all right? Bomp, okay. So I'm on fire, but I'm not sneaking. Now I'm on fire and sneaking. There's the message. If I hit, if I sneak here, nothing. If I'm on fire, nothing. If I sneak and I'm on fire, you can't see the message. <laughs> if I sneak and I'm on fire, we get the message. These things are so cool. Let's put that out. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for today. But you can check so much stuff so much stuff and it's so much faster it's just so much more efficient than um doing nbt checks i think i think i saw a little test that someone had done and they had they had th uh, some commands in a function and they ran the function and they had a look to see how much of the total time each command used and they had a bunch of commands that took up 10 percent of the time they did a predicate check to see if they had a ring, a custom item, and that took up 8% of the time. And then they did the same check using NBT, and it took up 83%. The difference is huge. So predicates without using a data pack. But as I said, if you did want to use a data pack, this bit from where I've closed the brackets to where... I open the brackets, you could literally just copy that and paste it into a predicate file, and that will run inside your data pack. As I haven't tested that yet, but as far as I can tell, it is laid out identically. You should just be able to copy it in. Cool. Anyway, enough of that. We have to be quick, as I said, rather late. Uh, we will definitely be coming back to do more with predicates because they're so handy and there's so much we can do. I haven't done much experimenting, experimenting myself. I've just done a bit of, um, is the player standing on a certain block? A few simple things like that. But again, thank you to Hassan Topcha. He was suggested this one. He said, you know, you should do some 1.20.6. These, these commands are fantastic. And he is right. They are fantastic. So I had to show you. Anyway, I'm going to get off to bed, getting late, busy days. Right. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.